New episode, new episode. What is up, buggers? What is up, gamers? We are back here in the world of Dreamall with a new episode. And this episode, we are gonna be building a cow pen. Yes, guys, or a cow shed, you could say. Because I need a place to keep my cows. Because we are running out of leather. And we're gonna need lots of leather, you know, for our enchanting and for a lot of stuff that needs leather. And cows are the best sources for food, you know. If you have a meat grinder, you can definitely play Minecraft without looking for food for the rest of the game. But we won't be making a meat grinder this episode. We will be focusing more on just having an aesthetic looking cow shed. And if you watched the last episode, you remember we had discovered the village of Drabiel. So I'm heading back to the base from there right now. And I ran across this flower field. There are a lot of yellow and red flowers in this field over here. So I thought, why not? Let's grab a bunch of them to make some orange dye. And you'll see in a minute what I'll be using that orange dye for. But wait, wait, wait. What is this? This looks like some kind of crypt. Some kind of tomb or mausoleum right in the middle of this. I don't know what's written here, but I think it's lootable. Yeah, there's a chest underneath there. Not that great loot. And whoa, this looks like some kind of... Oh my gosh. Is that a zombie spawner? Right there in the middle on the surface. Wow, this map has some really interesting stuff, guys. I'm going to be making a zombie crusher soon. With this zombie spawner, we'll be getting tons of XP from that farm. I will be looking into that. And this is the waypoint that's really near to our base. And we're back here at the base. We got our sheep here grazing. I'm just going to keep my horse here with the sheep for now. Because I don't have a place for him just yet. And in the meantime, I'm going to kill some of these sheep. Because we are running low on food. And that mutton is really going to help us stay alive. I remember that bone meal farm that we had made a few episodes ago. Yeah, baby, that's paying us back because we can use all that bone meal to harvest these trees, grow them and farm these trees for all the wood we're going to need for the cow shed that we are about to build. And it looks like we'll be having to clear a lot of dirt on this side over here today to make place for the cow shed. So I've gone ahead and made a lot of bookshelves so I can add that to our enchantment table and do some enchanting and get us a good shovel. So because we're going to need that shovel to do a lot of digging guys. And I want our house to look really pretty, really aesthetic. I know I don't have the best looking house in all of Minecraft. But I'm just going to try to make that enchanting area a bit more aesthetic, a little bit more pretty. So this is my shot at making a really, you know, eye candy enchantment table, I guess. And you might notice here that we have the matrix enchantment set up. That is from the quark mod. And the matrix enchantment is a little more OP than, you know, usual randomly generated enchants but here you can select the enchants but it is a lot more expensive where xp is concerned so you'll be using up more levels but you'll be getting the exact things that you need without having to keep on relying on you know luck or randomly generated loot so how it works is you spend one of your levels on you know these tetris looking blocks and if you like them you drag them into the matrix and you can overlap two of the same like say if you have unbreaking and then you have you get another unbreaking so you add both of them together and it becomes unbreaking two and then if you get another one you get it unbreaking three but yeah you are limited by the number of bookshelves you have surrounding your enchantment table so keep that in mind so remember all that clay that we had found in an earlier episode i've gone and smelted that up into bricks and you can combine four bricks into a brick block that that's how you do it that's the crafting recipe and i really like brick blocks you know they really add some vibes to the house or if you're going for a medieval build it really fits in well especially with wood and stone if you add in a little bit of bricks mm, it looks really good adds that whole medieval-esque vibe to the build so i've gone ahead and tried terraforming most of the place over here but the dirt wall seems to be too high so i'll have to make a little bit and make do with that 
I'll try to make some kind of retention wall over here so it looks like it's trying to avoid the land from eroding. So I'm going ahead and using some cobble to build that. It's always a good idea to mix it up, you know, add some texture to whichever build you're going for. Like here I've used a combination of stone and cobble to make it look like the wall has naturally aged and I've used some mossy cobblestone also to make it look like it's kind of a little bit overgrown, a little bit more mossy over there on the corners. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and place my four corner blocks so I know where my build starts and I'll just try building my walls up and see where it goes from there. I really like how the oak wood looks against the you know the brick blocks because they really complement each other with the colors. And all those red and yellow flowers that we had gathered earlier in the episode, I just used them to make all this orange dye because I want the walls of this build to be orange planks. And you don't even need acacia wood for those orange planks because with the quark mod you get stained wooden planks which allows you to dye any of the wooden planks that you have. And you can use any of the 16 available colors of dye that are there in the game. So let's just go ahead and fill in these walls guys. It's a really boring process to make the walls. But you know we have to build all of these builds one brick at a time. That's how Minecraft is you know. It's just one boring brick by boring brick at a time. But that's the beauty of Minecraft you know. It's really cathartic. Uh, you can just build at your leisure slow and steady you can add blocks you can remove blocks so like i've done here i've just gone ahead and noticed you know this uh cow pen will really look really great with the opening at the side so you can go ahead feed the cows pet the cows you can even you know don't you didn't hear from me but you can kill the cows from the side but that's a really nice touch if you want to build a barn or something Again, I'm not the greatest builder. I have a long way to go where it comes to good looking builds. But I really try to make, you know, better looking builds. I know both the buildings I've made so far are exact squares. I gotta make more textures. I gotta add more depth to my builds. I'll be trying to make better builds in future runs. But for now, this is just my starter home and my starter farms, you know. So I'm not going for really elaborate structures. I'm trying to stay on a bit easier structures and then we will be building a little more complicated stuff from there in future episodes i'm pretty sure we'll try to make much larger builds much more complicated and better looking builds we'll be using a lot more different blocks and if you've noticed i have vertical slabs on this build and that again my friends is added by the quark mod so it's the recipe is really simple all you need to do is place three wooden slabs uh, you know vertically in the crafting table one on top of the other and there you have it vertical slabs And you can use any wood type or any wood color just converted the horizontal slabs to vertical slabs and they look really great for this barn build And I decided to go for the white roofs because they accent the orange really well I am trying to experiment with different color combinations Usually I go for really you know muted colors like gray and brown but this time I'm trying a little bit more wild, a little bit more loud colors. And as you can see guys I've totally screwed up the roof, I've made it lopsided. But no harm done, you can go ahead and fix that real quick. And now the roof looks much better guys. So the one thing I've learned while building slope roofs it looks really good when you add the overhang to it instead of having your roofs flush with the wall if you add a slight overhang or maybe two blocks or one or two blocks is enough it makes the build have a little bit more depth and pop out looks much better
So for the open part of the barn, the side part that's open where we can see the cows and everything, I've tried to add an additional, uh, you know, arc of the roof. So it adds a little bit variation, it makes the build look a little more interesting, has a little bit more depth to it. Let's see how that goes. Once the edges of the roof are in place, it's really easy to go ahead and fill it in because all you got to do is line up the slabs together and just uh, one after the other add, keep adding slabs and it's pretty easy. So here's the side part of the roof and I'm trying to line it up with the middle of the roof so that they both have the same height. Yeah, it seems like it's coming together absolutely perfect. It's totally aligned together, perfectly aligned. Wow, it's really satisfying when the stuff like that happens. And whoa, we have a random illager over here. He's trying to take our land. Guys, if you kill these illagers, these banner bearers, you'll probably end up with a bad omen effect which if you go into any village it'll trigger a raid and you don't want to do that and at this point in the game i'm not ready for a raid because all you can see is i got iron armor and iron armor is not the perfect equipment to go for a raid guys you need at least diamond armor and i don't even know the raids have different levels there's no way to tell but if you see on the top right of the screen that illager you know the face with the two axes that means you have the bad omen effect and as long as you have that and you step into a village, it's, it's going to trigger a raid. And there's going to be, you know, a lot of illagers to deal with. Evokers might show up and even ravagers. Ravagers are like these big beasty thingies that can one-shot you if you're wearing iron armor. So be careful, guys. If you have the bad omen effect, stay away from the villages. Could even put your villagers in danger. Another tip while building I want to share with you guys is accenting. You see these spruce trap doors, they don't add anything to the build, they don't have any functionality but they look good. They add that kind of depth to the build. So I'm just gonna spam them all around the building so it looks like those wooden panels are there and the whole build looks like it's you know kept together. Plus these signs and these buttons, they don't have any functionality, they're not linked up to any redstone or anything but they just look good you know, they look like they are wooden panels they loose panels and then another illager out of nowhere i don't know where these raids or these patrols are coming from and signs are really useful guys they're really useful for you know making it look like they're planks on the wall really helps to accent certain builds especially if it's a wooden build and you have a line of signs going around to accent it adds a little bit of depth adds a little bit of color so i'm gonna go ahead and add some hay bales here so it looks like the cows have been feeding on these bales so this is how you build a trough trough kind of is functional in a way where you can get an infinite water source but yeah this one's just for decoration and a few more hay bales to the side Another tip I can give you is if you replace the grass blocks with a stone block or a brick block or whatever block is above it, it adds a little bit more like continuity to the build instead of random bricks occurring out of the ground. It looks really weird like that. And a few path blocks it would help like the cows have been feeding here and trampling over the grass so the grass isn't growing in that area. So in order to bring this barn or cow shed or whatever it is into an actual cow shed because we're going to need the cows to live in it so here i am luring them into the shed i use this piece of wheat to bring them in and unfortunately we've got a lot of sheep in the area so they've been following us too because they are also mobs that get enticed by uh, wheat so i'm just gonna kill all the sheep around here take the mutton because we do need the food so win win i guess i'm gonna spam some torches so that the cows they need light at night and you know they're gonna breed better they're gonna be happy with all the light that they have and a few lamps because you know these guys are fancy they need those fancy lamps around their house fancy lamps expensive furniture some wheat 
you know to this side i don't know what i'm going on uh, got going on with the stone bricks over here but yeah it does look pretty i hope you picked up some useful tips while i was building it because i shared it i went on youtube and i was learning how to build stuff and that's about it for this episode guys peace catch you later